Hong Kong in protest once again. Uh, today may be the darkest day of Hong Kong's democratic movement, but it may also be a new page for Hong Kong's democratic movement. This latest show of anger towards Beijing caused by this. Beijing has announced any chief executive candidate must be pre-screened, meaning it would be extremely difficult to field a candidate that Hong Kong likes, but that Beijing doesn't want to win. And those candidates will need at least 50% support of a nominating committee. But, a fact well known, a majority of the committee is loyal to Beijing. Um, I would say I feel hopeless somehow that when you see the crowd gather together and somehow there's on, on another side, I've got faith in it. I'm very disappointed because uh, uh, we're trying to get, get back our rights peacefully, but then uh, Beijing never listened to our uh, 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 not demand really. Uh, never listen to what we say. So Hong Kongers are back on the street, calling for genuine choice and universal suffrage. This year, Hong Kong animosity towards the mainland Chinese government came to a head in June over this. A white paper from Beijing that stressed it alone wields ultimate power to govern Hong Kong. In reaction, that same month, more than 780,000 Hong Kongers voted in a mock poll on electoral reform. Chinese state-run media slammed the move as both illegal and a joke. At the same time, the poll website was hit by severe cyber attacks its opening day. Then, on July 1st, Tens of thousands of protesters hit the streets in Hong Kong's annual march against Beijing, coinciding with the territory's 1997 return to the mainland. Police say nearly 100,000 people took part. Organizers claimed more than half a million to make it the city's biggest pro-democracy rally in 10 years. Protests spilled over into the morning of July 2nd as police arrested more than 500 people in the city's financial district of Central leaving Hong Kong in the tense political situation it simmers in today. Under the basic law, Hong Kong's mini-constitution, the next leader could be elected by universal suffrage in 2017. But this latest move by Beijing clearly winds back that timetable, leaving the threat of civil disobedience the only weapon Hong Kong's pro-democracy camp may have left.